Woohoo! We're live! Yay! Yeah! Woo! Did you guys include y'all's audio? I did. Ah, oh, fucking Chilean. Fucking Chilean. Of course. Leave it to the yes, fucking Chilean. Yes. Include it. Okay, alright, alright. Hello, Good everybody, and welcome to the right. podcast, the Baked Beans Podcast, Wasted Wednesday. I am your retarded um, and slightly crazy host, Archie. Hello, hi. And I am host number Dua 2. This is Dua? Fofo. Dua? Dua? Anyways, Dua, it's we French, are. French, man. Don't you know French? No, nigga. What the hell? Bitch. Aren't you classy? <laughs> no, How nigga. How Mexican are you? No, nigga, I scalp your bitch ass. Anyways, um, I, was, <laughs> I, I I hate to I hate to ignore this good buddy of mine, Mister Big Wiggity yeah. Wig himself, Big Wig. Hey, 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 buddy, what up, dog? Yeah. Oh man, man, feels good to just sit down and just fuck around on the box again, man. I've just been doing nothing but work and art stuff school all that man it feels so good but man sounds awesome to hear you guys again just your your fucking voices you know all all the conversations we used to have good times he's talking about good the times. phone sex that me and him used to have yeah those, those phone sex were what awesome happens, bro. what happens behind closed doors stays behind closed see doors. this is this is why you're not screw that <laughs> This is why you're the man of the conversation, Archie. How am I the man of the conversation? You hear, you hear that, ladies and gentlemen. I am the man in every single relationship. Whether I'm, whether I'm in a gay relationship, I'm still the man. In a lesbian relationship, Wait a I'm still minute. the man. How are you gonna pass by something you just said? You in a gay relationship? What gay if relationship I, if I, if I'm ever, nigga? nigga, I just said if I'm ever in a gay relationship, I'm the man. In a lesbian relationship, I'm still the man. Feel me? Feel me? Caprende? Caprende? Archie man. Yeah. That is moi. Anyways. Alright, so this um, this podcast today is all about uh, the nerd's favorite comic books. Comic. Ah. Comic books. Ah. And the reason why I say this is because our special guest, Mr. Bigwig here, has uh, I'm sorry. What is, what is it that you have, Mr. Bigwig? What is it that you created with your own two hands? Yes, A comic it, book. A comic book. What? Uh, yeah. Now, 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 for the people who, are, who who don't really know you, of which is the majority of people, explain what your comic book is about. Huh. Oh man. Well. You've already read it. I sent it to you. Oh. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to tell people it. It's, you know, it's it's. All right, I'm God just gonna no. go for it. It's 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 a comic about a school shooting, in a middle school, but it's shown from the perspective of a victim rather than the shooter. You know, just kind of taking a different approach with that. Yeah, because originally it was going to be... Hopefully I'll get to read this uh, one day, I hope. Dude, Man, dude, I, uh, I Ar- hey, uh, Archie... Yeah, I have it. Uh, Fofo, just go ahead and shoot sh- uh, shoot me your email, and I'll go ahead and send it to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's just a PDF cool. file. Um, But no, like, Thinking originally about... when I was making this comic, uh, it was going to be about the shooter... Um, it was gonna be from his perspective, but when I uh, presented the idea to my uh, my comics instructor, she recommended that I take a different approach, you know, and try to show people something I hadn't seen before. Because the thing that got me turned the other way around was like how the media was mostly paying attention to the shooters in those scenarios. You know, and just glorifying right. the act of violence, but they didn't really give much exposition or uh, didn't really talk about the victims. They kind of just treated them like uh, statistics on a spreadsheet. You know, they were just—it was just another body count. And I thought to—I thought I'd just make something that was kind of representative of those victims. You know, and 
and not just in shooting, but just in general. You know, just give them proper representation. And that's kind of what I want right. to go for. I, I think I like you, that. uh, yeah, you hit that nail on the coffin, my brother. I like the <laughs> Minecraft version of the school shooting better. The Minecraft version of Minecraft. <laughs> that that exists. That exists. Go on YouTube. Search up this guy named Bert Gasm and look up Minecraft School Shooting. Uh, it is an actual did, uh, video. Our fair lady put the, his audio included. I'm not sure. Mad Cat, did you include your audio? Don't um, don't. Do, I don't, do, don't know. Just uh, just don't because we're doing a podcast. Don't don't do. Please, God no, do not do it. I mean, it would be very interesting, but then a lot in of people case get offended. If you don't, if you're wondering, folks, uh, we have a friend of ours. Um, who's good sometimes, but uh, he's not on right now, and doesn't want to change his audio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey guys, um, uh, who wants me to play Bible Black through the mic? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, jeez, man. Oh, he he is now threatening uh, propaganda. <laughs> Anyway, uh, hey, we are a very family-friendly uh, Mad Cat <laughs> microphone station. Um, we like to uh, we like to include programming from uh, the friendly neighborhood neo Nazis. Um, <laughs> we enjoy uh, <laughs> we we oh, enjoy the gosh. Flintstones from the early 1900s where they smoked and stuff. Uh, smoking's cool, kids. Don't don't forget to get addicted to cigarettes at an early age. Um, <laughs> we like to play the Teletubbies because the Teletubbies are creepy fucks. And um, yeah, they are. We like we like to play Minecraft Let's Plays and uh, Bible Black. Uh, hentai of any type. <laughs> All right, folks. So, uh, Video has been removed yeah. wow. at the request so that... of Japan Anime oh. Alliance Group. Fuck. All right, so that was Mad Cat in a nutshell. Yeah, that that, that was <laughs> that, that he was. Oh, we yeah. all love him. We can in be, reality, we worse. thank Big Wig for uh, creating this comic. We look forward to uh, reviewing it and. Uh... See, um, uh, see, I, I read, uh, I already read it, dude. I'm yeah, already told out. It's yeah. Hey, shut the fuck up. Just because you're Chilean and shit. You think you can take your anger out on me? <laughs> Nigga, you tripping. Straight fucking tripping. Your mom. I, your mom. I, I, I. Anyways. Oh, hey, I found the <laughs> English dub. The terrible one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What's Weeping that? terror. Don't you want to fuck me? Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> there we go, yeah. <laughs> If we, if I'm not even kidding. That's we had oh, okay. Let's end this had, before it gets grotesque. Gr gro end it. What are you talking about? Got eight, like eight minutes left. We can't end it. It's still too early. Oh. oh. We got eight minutes left. You know, I mean, when they say the freak comes out at night, this man is a freak. He's coming out at night, my friend. Yeah, when they said freaks come out at come out at night, they weren't lying. This nigga's out here. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Anyways, okay, now back to the conversation in comic books. Yeah. 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 Hang on. <coughs> Let's see. Okay, Archie. Hello, you stop in the middle of your sentence. Anyways, um, oh man, the comic for today that, I'm, uh, that I would love people to read is Green Lantern Volume Two. Ooh. And Ooh. It's 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 during the Silver Age Green Lantern Hal Jordan, which if you guys remember that terrible right. Green Lantern movie that uh, Ryan Reynolds played. Let's not speak of that. Yeah, that was, oh, yeah, it, it's that blasphemy talk. Movie that almost killed his career. And then Deadpool saved his fucking career. Just saying. Oh, yep. yeah. Anyways, yeah, it, it's this, it's about the Silver the Silver Age Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and mm -hmm. all 
all the, all the adventures of the fucking Green Arrow and fucking right. Green Lantern together and shit. You guys gotta fucking check that shit out. I mean, I'm not a fan of Green, mm -hmm. of, of Green Lantern, but I love Green Arrow. Cause Green Arrow's yeah. good. Don't talk shit, motherfucker. Now. <laughs> Whoa. Now, now, Big Wig, I have to ask, like, what got you into comic books? Oh, let me think. Or what? Well, well, well better, better to, okay, uh, okay, to I, explain. I, like, what got you into? Like, what? Like, what drove you to become an artist? Get to the root. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know exactly where, like, it really began. Like, it could have began before I picked up my first comic, because I was drawing since you know I could basically pick up a pencil and put a line on a piece of paper yeah but um the first comic that i ever read um i was six years old and i remember it it was like i was in my room you know just reading books it was nighttime and my mom came home and she handed me this book it, it was uh it was a calvin and hobbs book um it was weirdos from another planet and, uh, yeah, she gave it to me, and I'm like, well, what's this? And she just said, oh, I thought you'd like this. So I said, oh, you know, okay, yeah. uh, I'm six, anything new is, you know, new and free is like a present, you know, it's just, everything is cool, you know, so. Yeah. So I sat down and read it, and the first thing I thought was, what the fuck am I reading? This is weird. Like, that was the first time I'd ever read, like, images and text at the same time you know like the boxes and the characters and the the word bubbles floating above their heads and all that like it, it it was so strange to me like i couldn't tell what it was and i just kept reading it and when i was done i'm like wow this was amazing you know so i became obsessed with calvin and hobbs at that point collected all the books you know and it was after that i realized hey I kind of want to draw stuff like this, you know, so, you know, I had a bunch of notebooks and stuff, and I just started drawing little comics of my own, you know, and just random bullshit, you know, just doing whatever, just having fun. <laughs> but yeah, that was probably what really got me into comics. Like, if I were to, you know, put my finger down on my biggest inspiration uh, for comics uh, creation, it's... Uh, Calvin and Hobbes, hands down, it was first first comic I ever laid eyes on, and I still love it to this day. Hell yeah, hell yeah! Fucking nice. clap for him, fucking Chilean, damn! Don't know how to clap and chill. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, See, like, uh, thank you, thank you. I I've read all the Calvin and Hobbes, and I I love. The... Now, are you referencing the way it? it is as far as the comics or are you referencing the look of the comics? um I, I think it was just the form and how it was structured because i was used to reading picture books at that point you know how they had like big illustrations on each page and they have like a little paragraph on the bottom just kind of describing what's going on yeah. whereas comics it was uh comics is sequential imagery you know you get uh you know like if you have three boxes and the first box has like an illustration of two characters you know like uh, i don't know like walking down a sidewalk and they're just having a conversation talking about something then the second panel would have like a different angle than walking down the same sidewalk just continuing the conversation the third one either would have a punch line where it's supposed to be funny or you know they just keep going but the point is there's movement in those uh those panels that sequential set of images you know there's it's almost like watching a movie of sorts like that was what was weird to me was seeing movement but was still pictures inside these little boxes you know it was really really cool first time i saw it i remember uh my my uh, my best memory growing up is me and my mom and my grandma and grandpa were walking down the sidewalk and it was a Saturday morning and this one house we passed up or we're, we're walking in front of she was having a garage sale 
yeah. So, my, so of course, my grandma being my grandma, she want she wanted to buy whatever she had, whatever with she whatever she could afford. Um, right. so there was a stack of comic books, and it was a, it was a, a mixture of Calvin and Hobbes, Garfield, and um, mm. and um, I think it was Dilbert. I'm not too sure. Or I th- no no it was like it was like a calendar of Dilbert, uh, and my grandma bought it for me five dollars for fifteen comics. Oh, I was like, nice. yeah yeah. Uh, so I read through I read through them all. I went through Cal- I went through Calvin and Hobbes like nothing. I love Calvin and Hobbes. I had, even have a stuffed mm. I had a stuffed tiger. I named them Hobbes two. Like oh, Hobbes man, number you two. Had that too. I had a oh, Hobbes man. number two. <laughs> 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 see, see, I want, I, I wanted uh, uh, in, in those the little claw games. I wanted one of those claw games at, at Kmart, and I love the little motherfucker. Anyways, oh, and then in that stack, and that stack of comic books was it, all it said was Dark Knight Returns. And so I was like, oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I didn't like at the time. I didn't, I didn't know it was Batman. I, all I saw was Dark Knight Returns, oh. and then I started reading it. And then I started I, like I was as I read it. I was looking at the pictures and whatever. I was like, "Holy shit! This is well." I, I was a kid. I didn't say holy shit. I was like, "Oh my god! This is Batman!" Kept reading it. Kept reading it. Kept reading it. <laughs> oh my god! And bam! Like I just got punched in the face. Like, uh, this is dope. So, oh, man, you books. that that is. That is so cool. Like, that's a love story right there. Like, first Batman comic you ever read is Dark Knight Returns. Mm-hmm. Like, I would argue that is like the best Batman comic it ever is. made. It Probably is. behind uh, Batman Year One or in front of it. Like, they're really close. Yeah. You know, Batman Year One and uh, Dark See, Knight Returns. They're written. They're both written by Frank Miller, and they're See, both really good. In my opinion, um, it's Dark Knight Returns. Well, it, well, in, in in my in my vision, it's Dark Knight Returns, the Killing Joke, and then um, <sighs> Nightfall. Oh yeah, um, Nightfall is the one with Bane, right, where he breaks his back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I hear like the first volume is the only one worth reading, and like the other oh, two are just man. Mar- yeah, they are. They are just man. All right, guys. So we are now at a minute thirty. Wow, time Woo-hoo. flies when you're having fun. Woo. Damn. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Oh, uh, and viewer, thank you for tuning in. Unfortunately, this is not a, a Twitch um, broadcast. This is a podcast, the Baked Bean Show, with Fofone Archie and our special guest, Big Wig. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. That was me uh, jacking up. I'm sorry. I, I, I gotta, I gotta know how to control myself. <laughs> Can't do oh, it yet. Mexican. Jeez, Arch. My self-esteem is like low. those Chihuahuas, man. Ready to go. Damn fucking right. <laughs> Anyways, so before I forget, Fofo, it is time for the strand of the day. I am so unprepared. I had to, I had to, I had to load up this fucking app. <laughs> and it takes like <laughs> two seconds and it wastes my time. Yeah. People right, die right. when they are killed. It, it's true. <laughs> they do die when they are killed. He's not lying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, do you have one? I have one. Uh, pull it up. Okay, so my strand that I would recommend is Amnesia Haze Highlight. Or I mean, Amnesia Haze. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck. Anyways, Amnesia Haze is high and happy, uplifted, euphoric, energetic, and creative. Medicinal usage is for stress, depression, pain, fatigue, and lack, lack of appetite. And Ooh, be sure to drink. Yeah, be sure yeah, to drink a lot of fuck water because you would be expecting a lot of dry mouth when you, when you, when you uh, chief on some am, amnesia haze any munchies uh, from that 
Uh, no, it's just high on dry mouth, dry eyes, dizzy, paranoia, and headache. Yeah, cause that's one thing, you know, when when you're high, is you get really, really hungry, and sometimes oh. it's cool when you finally get stuff, but if, like, you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't got any money, it's a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, see, I, I've been in that situation many times. <laughs> uh man, but yeah. All right. Well, my strain. I'm sure, you all have heard about it. Pineapple Express. Yeah. You they made a that, movie about that. You mean that strain that they yeah. made into a movie? Yes, motherfucker. I said yeah. that now. Okay. Made into the movie. Um, the only negative side effect is dry mouth and dry eyes. Very little mm. anxiety. Takes care of your stress, de depression, pain, fatigue. Gives you the munchies. Now, it should have a pineapple, sweet, tropical taste to it. That's what they say. But mm. That is my strain of the day. All right, guys. So we are at down to our last forty-seven seconds, and, and I have to say, this was a great fucking podcast. Thank you, Big Wig, for being a part yeah, of this uh, of this Big podcast, that, and thank you for taking the time hey, out of your pleasure, fucking pleasure, awesome ass day. Pleasure to be with you guys. Definitely, it's, yeah, always, yeah, it's always a pleasure, my oh. friend. Matt, I'm not sure if Halo you included is, your audio my or Halo not. Halo downloaded, so we'll play Halo. I Bet. was molested as a child. Okay, well, don't forget to tell that to the detective who takes your case. Um, oh, yeah, thank you, thank you for including your audio, Matt. Can't even know you had nothing really of importance uh, that, to contribute buddy. to the conversation. But I nigger, love nigger, you so nigger, much. Nigger, 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 nigger. Thank you for t thank, thank you for tuning to the podcast, that. and please ignore Matt Cat and ho hope you have a wonderful day. I hate you all. <laughs>